this is a new video about the work I have in progress. I didn't do a video like that for quite a while, so I thought we're going to do that. I have a Puss in Boots, which is almost finished, and a Nybex Fairy Tail Hunt Trophy. I have tons of other things which are not finished, but these two ones are going to be added to my shop on Thursday. And I still have things to do, accessories to finish, but we are almost there. And really these past weeks and months are quite chaotic. They are always uh, for me and perhaps for a lot of people as well, November and December, because there were a lot of online classes I had to, um, to prepare and other which are coming in December. So it was very, very busy and a lot of uh, work uh, pieces, teapots, pumpkin carriages, all that, classical carriages too, which I want to finish for December. So I hope I, I will have uh, enough time to finish all that because I'm quite excited to share all that with you. I will do that in the next uh, videos. I also have uh, the last episode of the carriage uh, paper secret to share with you too, and a series about dollhouses, um, which I think you will like if you love dollhouses, which is coming also in December, sharing ideas and inspiration and tips if you want to, to start a dollar house. But we will see that in the next videos. It's not the topic today. So Puss in Boots is really a character I like to revisit on a regular basis. I did a doll house, um, which was Puss in Boots doll house, Le Chat Beauté. And I did several other characters about this size, some a little smaller, some bigger. This one was started a year ago and uh, I didn't work on it the entire year. I had totally forgotten him on the shelf and now he's almost finished. I still have work to do on his jacket, I have accessories and things like that. But I'm quite happy to go back to these classical fairy tale characters, which we all love, I think, and I suppose you also like uh, Puss in Boots. So I was happy to finish him at last because he really deserved a better fate. So I'm going to share with you a few things about him. And I also have my fairy tale Ibex. Um, it was quite a lot of work to do these big pieces because you have a lot, a lot of paper fur to create for him. Um, but I'm quite happy with the result. So it's really a character which is supposed to be hung on a wall. And I also wanted to share with you this beautiful book which I just received. I had ordered several books actually because I like to have a more inspiration sometimes. You, you feel you always work with the same books. I'm not really... I don't really work with internet a lot for that, for my inspiration. I really prefer books to have them on my desk and to open them when I want to and to stain them and all that. But this one is really, really beautiful. It comes in this box and uh, it's really, really, really pretty. And um, there was so much inspiration, so much good goodness in this book, really. If you like 18th century floral things, very girly, feminine 18th century things, you will really appreciate it. Because really, even if you visit Versailles or if you visit all these beautiful places, Trianon and all that, you don't really have the time to watch all these details. There are so many details. If you look at the inst musical instruments or really pieces of furniture. These books are just great because you see things in a way you wouldn't see if you were there in person because you would be distracted um, by the magnificence of the place. And I recently received these two books, one about uh, Le Trianon, the domain de Marie Antoinette, which is quite nice, but I really um, buy these sort of books to find inspiration, to have ideas for uh, flowers, patterns, a lot of things, and this one is absolutely lovely. It's called Un jour avec Marie Antoinette, which is one day with Marie Antoinette, and it's... I, wholly, I already had one book uh, about Marie Antoinette, which I adore, and this one is another very beautiful book. So there is a little box like that. And then you have so many beautiful inspiration inside. There were a lot of details of um, plates, of furniture, of wallpaper. It's really a beautiful, beautiful book if you are... First, if you like Marie Antoinette, of course, and if you like the 18th century, I think you will really enjoy it. I, I, I think I'm going to keep it on my desk forever, as I always have the other book always near me, because there are so many beautiful, inspiring things to look at. I think it's all very inspiring, so I really recommend this one. Uh, I will... I will um, dive into it very, very often, and I like that it comes in this uh, beautiful box like this. So it's uh, like a little treasure. 
So you can find it on Amazon. Uh, this sort of arabesque inspired by some sort of uh, uh, floral patterns and grotesque and all these things that you had in the in the book and which are um, very used in in the 19th century and in Versailles and all these places uh, so uh, I was already inspired by the book and I did this thing especially this thing which I didn't do before and I really am really excited about using all these shapes my fairy tale hunt trophy ibex is not absolutely finished almost I still have few details few ribbons to add over there over there and a bit of painting to add, to add here and there but otherwise I think it's, he's almost finished he has some ribbons, he has a tassel, an arabesque really inspired by the book by my Marie Antoinette book and a lot of laces I really try to explore uh, even more my other book about laces Elizabethan la laces and all uh, 17th century laces I try sometimes to imitate patterns I have in my books I think it's quite nice. It's very, very, very time consuming to do something like that. And it's quite big actually. It's a, it's a bigger Ibex than the one I previously did this past year. So um, this is what I finished and it took me many, many days to, to, to do it. But I think I'm quite happy with the, with the result, with the colors. But I still have a few, few things to, to, to finish before adding it uh, into my shop. I was also working these days on my puss in boots. I work on puss in boots on Le Chaboté on a regular basis and this is the new one. It's not also finished, I'm still working on it. I'm going to work all uh, this afternoon, evening and tomorrow to finish him. So I have more decors, more embellishment to add to his jacket, some sort of embroidery, paper embroidery, things like that. This time he's going to have several um, accessories including um, I don't know how you call this in English, it's a corn d'abondance and you have all sorts of crazy things going out from there like fruits or things like that but it's going to have few surprises on it as well because he's making his master very rich so I thought he needed something which embody this uh, abundance he's uh, creating for his master so I imagine that it's not finished I'm going to finish it inspired also by, uh, by a piece of, of laces I had and I try to inspire and to copy that with the paper try to really imitate the pattern really really well so that's what I did for his, um, his sleeves so I will see you soon with new paper secrets I have really a lot of things to share in December so don't go away and, and if you don't want to miss the next videos you can always subscribe to the channel and feel free to give me your recommendations about books about books about art 18th century uh, Marie Antoinette any other th sort of thing you you think I might like and other uh, people might like too I'm always interested in that so feel free to do it and I will see you very very soon I wish you a beautiful day and thank you for watching I also have a hat and a lot of feathers to do for him so I have a lot of work to do before he's finished so I'm going to go back working on my pussy boots <laughs>